Welcome to the Porto of Train Depot. So this, um, this video isn't necessarily specifically about the Train Depot, although it's about one of the aspects of the Train Depot. Um, and I think right now maybe I should put in a plug for the depot. Um, if you're ever in the thumb of Michigan, on the east side of the state, in a town called Port Hope, um, there's a train depot that's been restored. Um, it's kind of a kind of a local museum for P Port Hope, Michigan, uh, and it's I think worth checking out. There's a lot of cool stuff there. Um, so one of the aspects that I've been working on um, what is with the with the telegraph. So we do have an actual telegraph with a telegraph sounder and a telegraph key. Um, and we thought it would be interesting to take, um, take the sounder and how about if we could automate the messages that are coming through just to create the feeling like you're actually in the depot in 1908 hearing the telegraph clicking away. Um, so that's kind of what I, I've been working on. Um, also linked to this is a video that I did previously about how I had done it with an Arduino board. Um, just printing welcome to the Port Hope Drain Depot. So I've, I've taken that a little further and I've built a user interface so that you can add messages to it and um, the, Arduino, the Arduino will read the messages and play them out on the telegraph sounder. So I'm going to go through the process of what I did and how I built it and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. So besides the Arduino Maker 1000 that we're using um, for sending the pulses to the telegraph sounder, I introduced another element to the mix. Um, this is a Raspberry Pi 0W. You could ultimately do this all with a Raspberry Pi 0W, but I started with the Arduino and I don't know, I kind of like the idea of having a centralized server um, that it doesn't necessarily have to be connected to the sounder. Um, that your Arduino or other device can, you can connect to the sounder, you can manage it through another kind of um, web interface. In this case, um, it's on the Raspberry Pi 0W. I have MongoDB set up on it, um, Node.js and Express for, um, for the service, service calls that the Arduino makes. So if the Arduino, need, the Arduino will make a request um, to this device and get the message information and get the control information, which is like the delay time off of it. And that's, and that, and then it sends the messages that it received from the, from the Raspberry Pi and prints them out on the sounder. Um, and then the Raspberry Pi itself also, um, with express it's its own web server. I built a web, uh, a web front end for it using react, um, react and TypeScript. Um, that allows you to then also using the same web services update MongoDB with new messages. So I'm going to kind of show you the next step is showing you um, the user interface. So I'm going to go to the user interface. Of course, all of this is on the same network. Um, each device is communicating with each other over, over a wireless network. So obviously the Raspberry Pi 0W has Wi-Fi. Also the MKR um, 1000 does too. And I'm able to reference, this is actually the Raspberry Pi server. Um, you can see I have some messages created on here. Um, I'm also, let's see, let's bring up my Arduino board, my Arduino setup. I'm going to show the serial monitor just to show the messages that are being returned. And you should hear the clicking from the sounder. So now it's clicking away. I'm going to pull up the serial monitor just to show that the messages are printing out. It's printing, already started printing part of the message. 
So hello, Charlie and Maeve. And if I want to add a new message, um, this is all using the power of React. It works rather nicely. And I'm going to go ahead and submit it. So I also have set this to 60,000 seconds. So actually the wait's going to be another minute before it starts clicking away at the message. Um, but we can change that to let's make it five seconds. It will have to wait probably a minute before the changes take place. But the nice thing about React, it's all in real time. I don't really have to click submit. Um, and when I'm creating a new message, it's almost immediately inserting the message into the database. So if I click new message and say I want to cancel it, that's all interacting with the database and it does it rather quickly. So very nice. I'll bring up, the, okay, there. It's, as you can see, it said, Char hello, Charlie and Maeve already. Since I added a new message, it's pushing it to the, the second in the queue so it may repeat itself. So it could be waiting another minute. The next time around, I think it should be five seconds. the next message. So after this message, it should include the new message, loop back around to the beginning.
as you can see, it's printed every message in the queue. So details of how I built this are included in the description below, including links to the repositories um, with all the JavaScript code for the front end and also um, links to the Arduino code um, where the messages are being read from. Um, I will probably do another video kind of de doing a walkthrough of the code and um, going into more detail of how I built it for those that are interested. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, happy hacking!